Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a powerful animatic double exposure of hands over a face. Before we begin, take two close-up photographs of someone, one with hands over the face and the other with no hands. It's best to use a tripod to ensure that the camera doesn't move and make sure your subject stays exactly in position. Once you upload the photos into Photoshop, adjust their overall brightness and contrast automatically by invoking Auto-Tone. To do this, press Ctrl or Command Shift L for each photo. Open the photo without hands and press Ctrl or Command A to select it and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open the other photo and press Ctrl or Command V to paste it on top. Change its blend mode to Linear Burn. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Exposure. For Exposure, type in 0.58 and for the Gamma Correction, type in 1.4. Feel free to adjust these amounts after the next step. Click the Adjustment Layer icon again and click Black White. If you want to adjust its brightness or contrast, double click Exposure to open that panel and adjust the exposure and or gamma correction. Next, I'll show you how to make the hands more visible in some areas of your portrait. First, make a composite snapshot of your image by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E on Windows or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Temporarily hide the composite snapshot and hide the face layer. Make the hands layer active and make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Change its blend mode to Linear Burn. Make the black and white adjustment layer active and make a composite snapshot of your image. Drag it to the top. Make your double exposure portrait visible. With the hands layer still active, Alt click or Option click the layer mask icon to make an inverted layer mask next to it. We'll reveal the hands onto our double exposure portrait through the inverted layer mask. Open your brush tool and brush picker. We'll take care of the size in a moment. Make sure the hardness is 0% and the opacity and flow are both 100%. Then press Enter or Return. To adjust the size of your brush, first make sure your Caps Lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. I'll brush over areas of the hands that I want to reveal through the layer mask. If you want to reduce the brush's opacity, just slide it to the left. Next, we'll add a soft black vignette that surrounds our subject. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We want black to be our foreground color, so invert the colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to a corner. Drag it to the opposite corner. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in approximately this much. Go to the top middle anchor point, and when you see a vertical double arrow, drag it up approximately this much. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. I'll feather it 100 pixels, but you may want to adjust this amount depending on the size and resolution of your image. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Fill it with black 
by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it by pressing Control or Command D. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button at the upper right. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.